Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to week three of the Soul Alive devotional. Um, just want to remind you, if you haven't, please go back and check out week one and week two. We had a lot of uh, great conversation there, pulled out a lot of really dope things. Um, make sure that you are subscribed to the newsletter uh, so that you can receive the Worship at 808's podcast or Worship at 808's devotional in your inbox every Monday. Um, we'll make sure to get that to you. Yeah. All right. Let's get, get right into it. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right. So today we are coming from Psalms 98. Yeah. Uh, now, absolutely, I love the Psalms, especially being being a musician, being a singer, right. any of y'all out there, artists, I know you've taken a dive into the Psalms, um, but hopefully we pull out some some different things from what we, yeah. what we typically talk about in the Psalms. So, Psalm 98, um, let's go, I'm going to read, read, read uh-huh, I'm, I'm coming from the Amplified Version. All right, oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous and wonderful things, his right hand and his holy arm have gained the victory for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has openly revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has graciously remembered his loving kindness and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have witnessed the salvation of our God. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Shout in jubilation and sing for joy and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout with joy before the king, the Lord. Let the sea thunder and roar and all the things it contains, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy and delight before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. Mm -hmm. He will judge the world with righteousness and the people with fairness. Mm. Selah. Yes. God, add a blessing to the reading of his word. <laughs> You're so churchy. <laughs> Whoa. All right. So, so when I think about the song of Sola, right, I'm thinking about second verse. Second verse came primarily from here. Yeah. Um, I We dabbled a little bit in Psalms 33 as well, Psalm 63. Um, but the, I'm, I'm jumping down to where it, it talked about the nature, um, let the sea thunder and roar, let the rivers clap their hands, yeah. the world and all those who dwell in it right. and all the things in the sea. Right. I know last week we was talking about how like everything, everything. is for the glory of God. Yeah. The whole earth created. To... Yeah. Yeah. The whole earth is filled, filled with his glory. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so when I when I think about that, and I love the way David writes, it's so poetic. So poetic. Um, but how he mentioned all those things, plus right before that, the verse right before that, he mentioned sound. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Um, he named a couple of different instruments. Um, and he gave a generic, the melody, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think it's, um, I think it's really important to note that when we think in terms of, when we look around us, we see the trees, we feel the breeze, we see, that's a bar. When we, yeah. uh, when we, when we see the sun rise and set every day, when we see the rain fall and we see flowers grow and we see the strength and might of mountains right. and we understand that the sea has depths that we haven't as humans been able to right. even discover. Yeah. Um, yeah. And all of that is created <clears throat> simply, simply to point you back to God. Yes, I know that point to that point. I know for me that brings back uh, or some some of the things that we do on a regular is um, we we look up at the skyline. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And we see how how uh, you know how just amazing God is and what He created. Yeah, you know what I mean, and that keeps us. Our, our mind stayed on him just seeing all the things that he has done he has created and so i know you know i just wanted to point that out for our family that's one of the things um at night yeah. you know the moon and, and 
and seeing the moon and all of that stuff. Like it's, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to, to that God has given us those, those things to see that we can see to, to point us back to him every time. And what's, what's dope though, those things that we can see to point us back mm -hmm. to him, like it's all for his glory, but he's so intentional in that in all those things, yeah. those things were necessary for us to survive and be okay. Right. Like we have to have the sun. Right. right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like we have to have it. Yeah. Um, we Trees are absolutely necessary, mm -hmm. as beautiful as they are. And as they wave, I believe they wave in praise right. to God. They're necessary for right. us. And absolutely. God was intentional in everything that he created. <laughs> yes, it absolutely brings glory back to God. Yeah. Um, but it takes care of us as well, which is just a testament to him just being a really gracious Father. Right. A good um, king. I want to I also wanted to bring out a point um out of the scripture too that 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 uh stood out to me too was uh, the remembrance part. Mm -hmm. And how um uh, it talked about remembering his 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 glory, his goodness, his loving kindness, his loving yeah. kindness, you know, towards us, his mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Um and I think that Oftentimes, you know, you know, just life be lifing mm -hmm. and we forget <laughs> or, you know what I mean? It's, it's those challenging seasons, those trials and tribulations that we go through throughout the. Yes, trials and tribulations. Throughout the. Look, uh, I don't want the trials and tribulations package <laughs> in 2024. <laughs> the blessings. Yeah, and, give me the and, blessings and prosperity. And victories. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, but just. You know what I mean? But but remembering what he has done for us. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um and looking forward to what he will do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because man, one of my favorite songs from Todd Trivet is uh if he did it before, he'll do it again. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. remembering that, like not forgetting but holding on to those those things that God has has brought us out of. Yeah. And I joke about the trials and tribulations package, but even in that, yeah. even in those moments, like you said, that um, I really believe that us remembering um, is a, it's a, it's a cheat code. It's a weapon for us. Um, yeah. Because when we remember <clears throat> what God has done, when we remember where we were, Man. Before he saved us Man. and where we have come from. Man. You know what I mean? Yes. When we activate that memory, I think that does something different like in us yeah. to to make sure that our eyes stay here. You know what I mean? Because yes. it's easy to get caught up in our temporary reality, what yeah. we see happening right, right. this in moment. Our faces. Yeah. But when we remember what he did. And what he promised he would do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. that does something different for you. It's like you, know, you you move different. You absolutely do. It's like like I think about uh when I think about when I hooped, when I played basketball, shout yeah. out to Howard University, Lady hey, Bison. You? you know. Yeah. Um, but when I played basketball, there were certain teams like we always came in like we gonna win. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But if we had played you earlier in the season mm -hmm. and we already beat you by 50, yeah. bro, we came in with a whole different kind, right. of, kind of thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. we remembered. Yeah. Now, on the flip side, if we came in, we played a team and that we didn't see, we didn't see what they the could money, do. They gave the us the business. Yeah. We remembered that and we came in with a different type of energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that memory piece, that is that is so vital for us as believers um to remember his works yes to remember his faithfulness yes um as he remembers his faithfulness and loving kindness towards us because that's what the scripture uh mentions how mm -hmm. he he remembered yeah <laughs> what he, right. he remembered his faithfulness right. to the house of israel which yeah. is um and then another thing i want to point out from there uh i think it's verse three uh no verse two and verse three mm -hmm. Where it says, the Lord has made known his salvation. He's openly revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. Um, and then it goes down and it says, all the ends of the earth have witnessed the salvation of our God. Mm. That one right there is, um, puts into perspective 
the the gospel a little bit, the mandate of the gospel. Um, as believers, we are mandated to go and spread the gospel mm -hmm. in the ways that he's given us to do it. So that literally means that everyone has an opportunity to know Jesus as Lord and Savior. Yeah. And everyone has an opportunity for salvation. The Bible talks about how Jesus came for the Jews and the Gentiles. Yeah. He came for everybody. Yeah. He was for the people. Yeah. And I, I man, that's so dope to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I hope that this reaches even, you know, those that do believe and 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 whatnot, but that those who who are you know, still on the fence or straddling yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or just uncertain or unsure or have struggled with believing mm -hmm. in Jesus in this kind of, in these kinds of ways that he, he desires for us to, and to search and seek and find, um, as he's challenged us to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, Yeah. Because if we search for him, we'll find him. That's what he's promised. He had, yes, absolutely. If we search for him, we find him. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going all the way back to verse one. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to touch on this first because it's like the obvious one to me. Okay. But um, but that sing to the Lord a new, new song. song. Yeah. You know, of course, it being you know a, at the beginning of the year, what have you. You may listen to this later in the year, but we're recording this at the beginning of the year. But um. Everybody talks about new me, new this, yeah. new that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I got new habits. All of those different things. Mm -hmm. um, but the Bible talks about how God is doing a new thing, and He's always moving. Yeah, He's always speaking. He never changes. Yeah, but He's always moving, working, doing. Right. You know, right. and it's for us to be tapped into. Um, and I love that yeah. David. This isn't the only. Um, chapter of Psalms that David talks about singing a new song. Yeah. This is this isn't even the only uh, book of the Bible that talks about singing a new song. Right. Revelations also mirrors that singing a new song as well. Right. Check out Revelations five, yeah. um, and look at what um, look at the vision there and how the angels started singing a new song as a result of seeing the salvation of Christ. Yeah, um, yeah. But I think it's so important for us. To remember that God is always speaking. He's always He's always moving. He's mm -hmm. always doing something new, and it's for us to be tapped into. Because right. I believe that's where our our um, strategies come from. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I, I believe that's where the new sound comes from. Right. You know, I believe new creative ideas, new creative and ideas, and visuals. And yeah. Being, you know, creative eye to see. Uh, what God is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like revealing to you and then it coming, you know, across on whatever creative platform that you, you, you use. You yeah. Know what I mean? So, yeah. And for all the creatives yeah. out there, I'm, yeah. God, which camera I'm looking at? I'm talking to you. Talking to you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, do not be afraid to put out that sound, that design idea yeah. that whatever it is whatever creative idea that you know the lord has given you do not be afraid to push that thing out because somebody out there needs exactly what you have the way that god has given you to convey it yes. the way that god has given you to present it don't be afraid that it's new yeah. i don't know if people are gonna be feeling it if they're gonna rock with it whatever you know what i mean i get it it's it's scary it's yeah. tough however God didn't give it to you for it to sit in your brain Man, and in yes. your house yes. and on your hard drive. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Like go ahead and go ahead and push that push that thing out and continue to ask him for um for divine strategy, right. for favor. And I'm telling you when when he gives you that those things and I know specifically for us mm -hmm. Like when he gives you those strategies and, and ideas and yeah. the things that he's he's calling us to do and purpose for us to do, even though, you know, we may not fully understand or see um, those things in the moment, man, he gives grace to, yes. to execute, to mm. make sure that all that, that he has given you, he will finish the the good work in you to do it to complete it Ooh. to to work through whatever you need to work through 
God is faithful to do that. He, he's given, he's, he, he, the grace comes along with the uh, call. Yeah, oof. That resonated with me. That just, that just spoke to me specifically me as you, as we're talking about, we're talking to creatives. I'm also thinking as parents, you know what I mean? Because yeah. we created, we created three little humans. Yes, we did. That's going to get we rough. Did. Parenting is rough out right. here in these streets sometimes. Right. But God's grace is sufficient. Yes. And he will absolutely be faithful to do what he said he would do. He who began a good work, who began a good work right. in me, yeah. will be faithful to complete it. Yes. Man. And you. Yeah. Will be faithful to complete it. Absolutely. Yeah. That's good to me. Yes. I needed that. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I needed that. So, y'all, make sure y'all go take some time. Read Psalms 98 this week. Um, and we got a few questions that's on the uh that's on the worksheet that we send out. Um yeah. that I want you to make sure that you tap into. One of those questions is, you know, what was the word or phrase that stood out to you? You know what I mean? And why? Um, and just, you know, reflecting on that um, and, and watch how God, you know, reveals those things to you to help you answer those questions and see how you can apply a lot of what was said in the scripture. Um, the second one is um, what what is the Lord saying to you and showing you showing yeah. you um, as a result of reading this word and and hopefully, you know, the words jump off the page yeah. in such a way that 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 you can see it clearer than than ever before. Yeah. So that's our prayer um, for you, for for us all to, to that God would uh, reveal things to us like we've never seen before, because, you know, we've we've talked about these scriptures before. and We've yeah. heard them all, of, you know, pretty much all our lives. But. You know, just in a season that we're in, you know, he's showing and revealing some things differently to us. Yeah. Yeah. So, y'all, thank y'all for taking this journey with us. Yeah. Um, if you have questions or if you pulled out something that we didn't right. that we didn't discuss, please shoot us a DM. We're mm -hmm. just the Agape Music Group on all um, on all social media platforms. Uh, yeah. Hit us up. So I'm going to pray for y'all and then we can get out of here. Lord, yeah. thank you so much for all that you are doing in each of us and through each of us. Thank you for how you are continuing to reveal yourself to us through you, your living word. God, I pray that you continue to open our eyes to see you like never before. Continue to open our ears to hear you like never before. God, I thank you for those listening, those watching, that even in the middle of the night, that they would begin to wake up and write what you're speaking to them, mm. that they be have songs on top of songs on top of songs about what you're singing over them, that they see beautiful visions that they begin to draw and paint and all the ways that you've given us to create um, for your glory. Thank you. God, I thank you for uh, just continuing to uh, speak to us, touch us, use us, um, God, for, for, for your glory. We are forever grateful and we will give you all the honor and all the praise. And it's in your son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. And hey, we love y'all. See y'all.